Hello, YouTube. All right, getting all set up here, getting my windows in frame. Okay, you might want to skip ahead if you're watching the recording until my chatters get in the box. And all the hellos are said, and we'll get her going. Get my stuff around here that I'm going to need. I think I'm going to need. <laughs> we shall see. Um, piece of deli paper. April. Hey, Kay. So, um, if you guys are on Instagram, you should follow Mono Printed. That's Bonnie Barker. She was in uh, Arizona with the five of us went there uh, this past February to take Robin McClendon's um, in-person workshop. It was a blast. And she does such good work. And she did, she collaged some of her papers onto a vase. Now, this is all I could come up with in the house. I haven't been shopping anywhere. This has been sitting in my kitchen window for a while next to a couple other little ones. Um, I was hoping I had like a flower vase or something, but I must have gotten rid of all those. Uh, so I will hit up the Goodwills at one of these one of these days and look for a more appropriate vase. But look at her. Gala. Save Santa the trip. <laughs> he knucklehead. <laughs> oh, my God. Um. So check out Bonnie Barker as at monoprinted on Instagram and look at her post. Um, she's on Facebook as well, but her, just her name, Bonnie Barker. Um, that vase is so cool looking. I couldn't stand it or a bottle. I don't know what it was. I think it was had a narrow neck. Maybe they call that a bottle. Who knows? Maybe this is a bottle. I don't know. It's glass, but it is so stinking cool. Hey, Pamela. Um, so check her out. And that's got me thinking about trying to do something similar, um, and being without any, I'm looking around the basement as I'm talking to see what else I can, what else can I collage? It's going to sit still long enough. <laughs> I got out a cigar box in case we wanted to move to that. I used to do cigar boxes with scrapbook paper. I don't know if you guys look way back in my videos, you'll see um, some examples of those. And I really like doing them. And then instead of doing cigar boxes, I started using polymer clay mosaics on the lids of a box with a separate lid. You can't do that on these because the weight of the tiles would flip the box over, ask me how I know. Um, but with just papers, I thought if we finish this, in a reasonable amount of time, I try slopping some papers on this rascal. So we'll see. We'll see where we get. So who else have I missed? Pamela. Hey, Dot, Allie, Glenda, Diane. Welcome, everybody. Good to see everybody here. So she said, Bonnie, she, she Bonnie. Um. And I'm going to go back real quick and look at her Facebook post because I asked her, did she just use Mod Podge? She did not. She had a whole list of things. I want to try to find this post to show you what she did. Why won't that blow up? Oh my gosh. Well, you can maybe see that there without the glare of the, oop, now hit the camera, knock it out of whack, hide the camera. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my God. I love that. Even the shape of the bottle I love. But I had asked, well, my phone keeps locking up. Now I've got to shut down Facebook. It's never easy. Never friggin' easy, I got to tell you. Bonnie, here's this. I asked her. She said, no to Mod Podge. She used a scotch glue stick for the layers of onion skin. 
then sealed with a few layers of UV matte spray. I have that. And then a couple layer, layers of Dorland's wax. Sounds more time consuming than it was. So there we go. Who snuck in here? Cindy, Libby. Hello, guys. I guess I should say gals, but you know, it's just, it's just that Baltimore slang. So that's what we're going to do. And I don't know if there's any secret to a scotch glue stick rather than woohoo and Giotto. But where the hell are they? I'm going to use, pull out every drawer before I find them. And yes, guess what? They're in the bottom drawer. Oh, I do have scotch. Oh, but this is repositionable. No, I don't want to use that. Okay. We're going to go with Giotto. So I printed off a few papers of Robins from her printables from previous months. And mine that I did, um, this was an image I had from some free image site that I downloaded some time ago. And then I ran it on the jelly plate with my gold crackle. I thought that would look pretty in here. I got some pictographs to throw a little turquoise in there. And luckily, it's got a little bronze shiny stuff in there. Printed out, these are Robin's printables. I printed out all these on onion skin. This is one of my patina papers, an old collage. Pa I just printed that because it had some turquoise in it. I don't know if I'll use this or not. It's kind of crappy, but in the background, it might not be bad. Here's a little pictograph that's got some shiny stuff on it. And this is a, an onion skin of one of Jude Leader from New Zealand who sent me some happy mail. This cover, this was a folder that she had put a bunch of stuff in where she collaged the cover of the folder. And I printed that cover on onion skin. So who else is sneaking in here? Jan Terry. Hello, dear. Welcome. So glad to see you in chat. Hey, Jerry. There's Joan. Hello, dear. Um. So let's just get her going. Now this has some curves to it, much like myself. <laughs> um, so I don't know um, what problems we may run into. You know there will be some. So let's just get on with it and see what the hell happens. Oh, I said hell right off the bat. Okay. Some of these I don't mind them being in the background. Some I want to end up in the foreground. Does it matter? I have my little cutter that I got from Zandra. So for those of you who don't know Z, hey, Judy. Hey, Kathy. Um, Zandra has an online uh, store, paintandpaperstudio.com. And I think she's lurking today. She's probably getting ready for her stream. And um, and there's Bonnie Blue in chat who's mono printed. I'm going to try it. Glad you're here. So I'm going to try to use my Giotto glue stick. And I'm guessing um, it was probably like with a, a, round, a more round base like this. This is all I could come up with in the house that I could cover up. <laughs> um, I saw them had mason jars, but they've got the, the texture on them from the, the uh, embossing or debossing that's on there. Um, um, th yes, this is Robin's um, from Robin's Printables. Sure enough. She did a couple months back. She did one that had all script papers in it. They were gorgeous. Um Sorry, just catching up on chat. So I'm guessing small strips because to try to avoid a lot of the curve and that kind of stuff. So maybe what I'll do, I'm going to fold this up because it's too long to fit in this little printer. But this has a, the Tim Holtz Deckle Edge printer or cutter rather printer. I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to hit this. Oh, I guess I'll have to put it under here. That didn't work so good. And just get a raggedy edge and get the white off of there. Hello. So 
so I thought maybe I'd make the base of it this paper, which I love. I thought you were getting all her uh, downloads, Jan. I had you. I had you pegged for that. <laughs> all right, let me get this out of the way. And I think what we'll do, how tall is this? Look at you. So maybe I should avoid that curve and just make the strips. Actually, do I dare? No, it's not quite big enough. Hmm. Any tips, Bonnie? Throw them out there. Hey, Norma. I thought you were a patron, Jan. You're very wise. <laughs> oh, that's cute, um, Jerry, with the lights inside. I thought about that. I, can, I have, um, I almost brought down a Yankee candle and was going to do the outside of that so when the candle burned, it would glow. And I might still run up and get that, um, depending on how far along we get with this little mishap here. So I'm going to cut... Let's go up to here. So I'm going to cut another little bit of this off so that the initial strips are just about right. Which end do I want to lose? Neither. <laughs> How does that work? I think it was about there. We'll see. We'll save that little bit. Hey, Pat. Yeah, that's what I, that's, I reconsidered as I was doing that. Because this looks like it's hand blown. Well, there is a bit of a seam on it, but it, it's not, I don't know if you can tell by the reflections, it's not completely symmetrical. I don't think it came out of a form. So let's just tear this up, shall we? That was a little fat. This tears pretty nicely, too, actually. Straight lines. You never know how that's going to work out. Even that crooked one. That's pretty cool. Where's that big one? Where's that big girl? Let me tear this one in half again. Ish. All right. So let's just start sticking some of these bad boys on here. Use strips and pieces. Yep. I gotcha. Oh, and here's Jackie's information. I'm going to zoom in on this real quick. So if you guys want to write this down, remember Jackie Jimerson. Hey, Deb. Um, Jackie is um, J, uh, Creations by Jay Cherie in chat and on YouTube. And Instagram, I forget her name on Instagram, if it's the same or if it's Jackie Jimerson, but she's been in the hospital and she's doing much better than she was, but she's going to have a long road for recovery before she can take over her Etsy shop and her YouTube channel and her design team responsibilities. Um, and I believe, knowing Jackie, she would absolutely love homemade, handmade cards. And this is the address. If you miss it here, you can get it on her, um, if you go to her YouTube channel, you can find it in her um, about or in her comments underneath the, her videos. Hey, Elon. And um, I'm sure she'd be really appreciative. It's P.O. Box 8466, Flossmore, Illinois 60422. It's Jackie Jimerson, J-I-M-A-R-S-O-N. So I just wanted to mention that again to everybody. You know what, Allie, a little, anything, I think a, just a, a card that you did or, you know, anything that would, that you made, I think would really tickle her. But, you know, it's going in a PO box. So probably something that would fit in a small envelope. Um, 
All right, let's go. More gluing and less talking. Let's get her going. See what happens here. Oh. I would have never thought uh, by to use a glue stick against the glass. I don't know why. I think I'd have gone with Mod Podge or wet med uh, like a matte medium or something. Don't claim to be the brightest, but I would have never thought about. Oh, now I cut it too short. You dumbass. Or did I tear it? You know what? I tore it the wrong way. Sweet Moses. Hey, CB. Well, that's okay. We're going to piece it anyway. <laughs> and you guys sat there and watched me do it. So I do not forgive you. <laughs> you got to keep an eye on me. We should all know that. See, I had it right down to the right measurement and then went the wrong way. Wrong way, Patty. Wrong way. Oh, yeah, yeah. We still have snow on the ground here. Usually, this time of year, when we get snow, even if it amounts to something, we probably have three or four inches where we are. It's still chunks of ice everywhere, and Oakley is having a hard time walking on it. So he hasn't had a good run for several days, so guess how that's going. Oh, not great. Oh, this is a roly-poly little rascal. I'm not too worried about this first layer. I just want to get something down to cover the glass. We'll go over it with some other goodies. And I might even tear something else up and mix it in there. Maybe some of this. Oh, poor Oakley. Oh, poor Oakley. Poor me. Yeah, thanks for the tip now, Gail. Gala. <laughs> oh, this one was kind of like I had to because the way. <laughs> the orientation of the. Get off of me. I don't know why I'm worried about rough edges on the bottom layer. Tell me why I am. That's a pain in the ass. We're going to have to do something about that. That's not going to work long, long term. I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> okay. Get off. And this one's going to be too long. Hey, Wendy. to get that one somewhat straight because of the rows of font there. Maybe I'll use this little piece up here around that curve somehow. Well, that's not even going to stick there for some reason.
they make some of those little tiny lights so tiny now. And I saw some somewhere. Z had them with the little flat um, controller instead of the big box that comes with some of them. Um, oh, she still might have tore it the wrong way and blamed us for <laughs> Jackie, don't give me up like that. <laughs> I mean, Judy. Very thirsty today. Very, very thirsty. Where's that damn cut? Let's just, let's do this. I wish this was longer. Of course, then it would be really bulky. And I know this is probably more for like card makers. I'm not sure about this guide. Z said you can take it off of there. I might end up doing that. Although I like it to hold pieces in place, like so. But otherwise, it's a pain in the butt ski. Come on. Am I going to have to do that for every one of these? I think so. Let me go this way so I see that red. I like that red pop in there. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to have to get Dave to come down. <laughs> come down and hold this damn bottle still. Sweet Moses. Get off. Of my finger. This is the world's stickiest glue. This is really sticking well on the glass. I'd have never, would have never popped into my, my little head. Okay, let's see. Do I want to really mix it up or just keep it consistent? Not halfway to go yet. We'll just keep it going with this and then we'll make the different designs on some of the outer layers. This was genius, Bonnie. That vase that you did, my mouth waters every time I see that picture. It truly do. I'm going to have to start hitting all the uh, secondhand shops looking for just the right vase or bottle or whatever I come up with. But when I used to do, I started telling you guys about the cigar boxes. I used to do them for new babies, for weddings. Um, and that kind of stuff. I did them for a couple of retirements at work and bought stamps to make tiles. Um, in the theme of what the person liked to do or where they like to vacation or hobbies or whatever. And um, they're a lot of work, though, I can tell you that much. The ones with the, well, both of them, even the scrapbook paper covered ones are a lot of work because you cover them. So you keep this bit of the cigar box showing and just measure so it fits exactly in there on each side, inside and out. So that's a labor of love 
Let me tell you. I like it rolling around, Gail. It's more of a challenge. <laughs> it's kind of an aerobic workout while I'm crafting. Ay, ay, ay. These papers are just so pretty, though, that you just can't. Oh, look at that. Almost matched up up top there. With that square rectangle. Maybe I ought to bring in a smidge. Let me see. I'm going to move the camera. Hold on to your lunch. How this thing gets moved, I'll never know. But sometimes it's further down that steel plate on the mount than where I had it the time before. And I can Never quite figure that out. This is some strong glue, let me tell you. Almost too strong. You dare not lay another piece of paper on top of that little glue track laying down there. Let me tell you. And ask me how I know that. <laughs> of course you'd come up with that, Eileen. <laughs> how are you? I haven't seen you for a while. Henri is ever, I'm sure. One more little strippings. Oh, look. There we go. If you hear any screaming, my mother's watching the Ravens. She gets into her football games. There could be some cussing. Gail, you might want to write down what you hear my mother say. <laughs> some you may have to look up. I haven't seen any of those either, CB. Z told me she did one on me. Oh, my God. You got one, too, Eileen. <laughs> okay. I'm done. <laughs> now, how do we do this curved top? Small little bits, I'm assuming. I wonder if I can get it to go. Probably not. Hmm. Let me get my water brush. Where are you? Here you are. There we go. I'm going to try to cut. Oops. Hello. Well, that's not. Oh, and the. Oh, crap. The water's making this run. 
shit. Well, we'll break that one down, Gala. Let's just see how it comes out. Maybe it'll look interesting and more aged than just a perfect round red circle. <laughs> hey, Kathy. I don't know if this is going to be too big for this little bit. We're going to see. I mean, I guess I could make it a smaller red circle if I wanted to. I'll sit that there and let that dry a little bit. And I like that little chunk of turquoise in it. See what other, and I really like this one here. I love this circle with the bronze bits. We're going to cut that out too. I might have to cut this in half or rip it or something. I don't know. Who knows? But this is one of my favorite printables. I've gone in it to, um, and edited the colors on this and printed it out a bunch of different color. Uh, colorways or whatever you want to call it. Hey, Margaret. Oh, shit. Oh, I said, Ooh, having a lot of work for Gala today. Oh, 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 not working. This must be on a different kind of paper than the onion skin. Feels a little bit like onion skin, but I bet it's that bond paper, April, that we got from that Etsy shop. Ah, okay, well, let's not panic. It's a little wonkified, but I might tear it up anyway. So there you go. So do I want any bits of this on there? That would go. I definitely want this in there. I definitely want some of this in there. Might get a little orange in there. So I'm thinking I'm going to tear this so I get this little script out of there. Judy, she might need to do some kind of new math like shit times three equals it, it really works um, great on tissue and onion skin but I think this oh shit, oh I said it again <laughs> it's a damn glue look at that it's sticking to my fingers son of a mm. Okay, well, that didn't come out so great. You rat. Jeez Louise. Where's my ruler? I'm not going to let this sneak up on me. <sighs> oh, 
I know what I need to do. All right, some of that. Some of this. I want that raggedy piece there somehow. And I want that raggedy edge. So I'm going to leave that for now. Oop, 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 oop. Did you almost see that happen? Almost close that one up. Now, of course, I'm not going to put this whole thing on there, but I definitely want some strips of this. Definitely do. Okay, I put that in that pile. What's over here? I might need, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Hang on. Hold the phone. I'm going to get some of my old scripting practice sheets and see if there's a big, oh gosh, if there's a big bold streak of something worth keeping in there and gluing in there. Well, I think I have some already oh, torn up in my little. What's in here? in here. Oh, maybe we've got to put something shiny on there. Hello. Oh, and this is a nice little piece to put on there. See what's in my little box. Oh, and some of this. Hello. I don't like those characters so much. Oh, I like that bronze one there. There's a little circle of that. That's kind of stiff. That's, I don't know if that's going to stick well. Oh, we'll see. Black and white stripes, Eileen! Holy mackerel, we almost forgot that. That's not possible to do. like that one. Little tiny pieces. Oh, a little red Buddha with a little pictograph in there, maybe. You gotta have options. Where are they? Oh, I think they're in, oh, crap, they're in a bigger box. Hold on. Hold the phone. Is it this one? Oh. Maybe that little bit of that gold over here. This is kind of big to put on that little teeny wee in the bottom. Oh, this was cool. This is the bronze pictographs on the ceiling of that thatch roof that we had a picture of from Arizona. Maybe I could take a strip of that and put it down there somehow. There's my scarples.
I love these dark. Could I use that? Oh, that little dark bit there with the rose gold on it, maybe. Hey, Charlie. Some Robin stencils on her papers. I thought I had more. Well, where the hell is it? Here we go. Oh, these are all those things that went wrong with the toner. <laughs> Okay, let's make do with what we got. I got way more than I could ever use on this, but again, you got to have some options. All right, so See, I like this little bit because it's got that bronze zodiac stamp in there a little bit. So it's a little shiny. Now, do I. What would that look like if I could rip this out around that scripting? So it's got that silver black paint on it. Kind of wide though for that curve. But what the hell? What the hell? I'm going to take a picture of it first though. I don't know if I have a picture of this one. Turn my daylight lamp on. Help stick up the shiny. All right. So this is really gold gold. And I do have a little bit of that bronze in here somewhere or on something I was going to use. That might be too yellow. Let me throw that one up there. All right, let's try this. Let me have a little bit of this little dark black blob here. Too much water. Okay, I'm not looking at the chat right at the moment. All right, let's try. Let's see what happens here. That 
might be an interesting little bit to throw in there. Put that over my little bit pile. And this one, do I want to do that? I love these washers and that darkness on there. Let's just friggin' do it. I'm just going to go around the washers and scripting as best I can. And this might end up being too big. And if it is, I'll just use it another time in a journal or something. All right. Jeez. Oh, that little bit came out night. Thank you. There we go. When you get it just right, it just it comes apart very nicely. This Oops, dried up on me again. Sorry, guys, I'll be back to chat in a minute. Boom, here we go. Okay, what did I miss? Anything? No. Hey, Norma. It's another Norma. Okay, see this with this edge here could maybe go around. You know, well, it's not going to end there anyway. I'm going to save that towards one of the last layers. I got to figure out how to do the neck. I'm just going to leave this glass stick out here on the top, I think, but I want it to go up to the, oops, hello, to here. But what are we going to put in there? Oh, oh, oh. What shall we put in there? Pray tell. Just little tiny bits of this mixed with this and mixed with something else. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I wonder.
This is a real puzzler, guys. Can you tell? See, it's going to have to be, I think, little strips again, unless I overlap some bigger bits to cover this up. Oh, maybe I'll just paint this. What can I put on there to make paint stick? Matte medium, maybe? Let it dry and then paint it with the bronze uh, paint around the top, the very, you know, like this little bit of the neck here. And collage up to like the shoulder. That's probably actually a real technical term now that I'm thinking about it. Huh. All right. Let's uh, let me make sure I got a picture of this one too. I've been saving this one. Yeah, clear gesso. That's a good idea. Need to do some grungy embossing powder. Oh, don't start me with the embossing powder, Eileen. Oh, good God, you always get me screwed up with that stuff. Well, not really. Sometimes it comes out pretty good, but sometimes not so much. All right. So I wonder. See, I need something other than just script. This is like all scripty stuff. So I got it. That's where my head is trying to break it up and think, what the hell else are you going to put on there? Somewhere. That won't work because it won't go around the shoulder. But it's kind of too big anyway. I'll probably put that in the poo-poo pile. But I do like this little Buddha face here. And this eyeball. And that little bit of pictograph. A little big, so maybe just a couple little strips to get some red in there along the way. Maybe not, but we'll see. That's almost black. We don't need to do that there. <coughs> That's too dark. So I'm wondering if I should just this whole shoulder deal is going to be a real pisser. Hmm. Is Bonnie still in here? I'm looking for suggestions on the curves. I mean, I could slit the paper and like kind of let it fold a little bit over that edge or maybe just bring it down and paint it higher maybe that's what I'll do well let's just slap a few more bits on here what the hell oh it's another one Gala at this rate I'm going to get coal in my stocking again <laughs> can you foil that part can I foil this? Huh. Um, that is a splendid question. Let's throw some scattered red bits around the bottle. Let's throw something down the bottom here. Um, Well, it won't go through my mink. <laughs> She's got a notebook she uses, Joan. It's like a log. Stardate. Do 
twelve nineteen twenty twenty. One, two, one, two. I'll throw this one over here somewhere. Got a little gold on this piece, is why I'm using this little bit. One, two. Let's do it somewhere around here. Just throwing another something, something on there. Oh, black and white. Look at you. Um, let's Interesting. That little bit's got to come off of there. Can I put this up here somewhere? Let's do it. This is fragile right now because I've already ripped it. Uh oh, she rolled up on me. Will clear gesso stick to glass? Patty, you blend over a curve, make small cuts in it, and you'll be able to use it on the curve. Yeah, that's what I said earlier about putting little cuts in it, but I kind of like the idea of making the top shiny. Shiny. And I'm thinking about the foil idea. And how I would go about doing that. Gray tail. I'm not doing it, Eileen. I'm not falling for that bait this time. I don't think, anyway. My luck, I'd, the heat would break the damn glass. All right, let's see. I do need to get a little black and white in here. We know that's going to happen. Let's see. The fired glass. <laughs> Don't 
doesn't feel like it's mine until it's got some black and white stripes on it. It kind of looks better that way, doesn't it? Or this way. Maybe both. <laughs> I got a little bit of glass peeking out there, so I got to cover some of those bits at some point, but... Oh, let's just start slapping stuff down here. This will be practice run for my real one when I find the right vessel. And some of this will get covered up, of course. Of course. Oops. Got to rip off those straight ends. Hey, Nancy. Thank you. Get off. I mean, this little brown vase I had here, something I got at Home Goods for like two bucks years ago. It's not going to be a big loss if it doesn't come out. I mean, I think it looks okay like that, though. Stick that back up in my window. I'm going around. Going that away. I kind of like it going that way better than that way. So this one. Maybe I'll rip this in half. Well, let's just get going here and stick this bad boy down. It doesn't look bad anywhere. Um, oh, maybe I'll take it up around here. Put a little bit up there. You know, something down here, I guess. Maybe I want that one back up, though. Maybe that way. I think my desk is uneven. <laughs> Same thing rolling downhill all the time. <laughs> Oops, you're crooked. All right, get rid of this and try to get some of this stuff off my damn fingers. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Well, of course, now it's in the drawer. And I can't get in without some finagling. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. All right. I'm trying to get these boogers off my fingers. Art, 
out with your heart out. Hello. Hey, Linda. Hey, Carolyn. All right. I got most of the glue boogers off. Whew. Um, so now... All right. Even though I like this, it's, I don't think it's going to add to this right now. This, will this add? This big piece of script right there might look kind of cool. Well, let's, let's jaggy this one up a little bit. Get off. All right, let's see where we're going to put this. I need another piece of deli paper. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I foil it, what type of, you know, that's going to be tricky. That foil is so delicate. And to get it glued down and painted smooth on a surface like that, Maybe a little tricky for my abilities. <laughs> um, oops, I just rolled it right through the damn glue. Hello. What if I put this right here? Break up a little of that black and white. And let it go into that red a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see. What else? What else do I have in my little bag of tricks? I need some pops of black, I think. Oh, look at this little rascal in here. Oh, and I got to get my turquoise in there. What the hell? Um, all right. Where did I put you, my friend? And this is a little stiff. So this, maybe I'll try to tear this even more narrow where the pictographs are. So it doesn't wrap so far around the jar, bottle, vase, whatever the hell this thing is. Vessel. Let's go with vessel. I want some of that red paper to show. I'm going to tear it this way. All right, let's see what we got there. I want to figure this too, because I do want this in there if possible. Maybe somewhere in that vicinity. So if I do that, what vicinity are you going in, my little friend? Maybe I'll put you right there. I don't know that it really matters, to be honest. Oh, that's a good idea, Jerry. Put a gold candle in it and let it um, 
drizzle down the sides. See, this is why I keep you guys around. That one really glued up because this is heavy paper. All right, now where the hell did I say I was going to put it? I think we were in this vicinity. Let me do this. <laughs> Let's work with what we got. <laughs> oh, that actually worked really well. <laughs> it's a stroke of genius. I'm telling you. Um, maybe a little. Let's go this way with this one. Get rid of that white ish paper glue boogers already all right that's there there do i need anything else up there Did I decide if and where I was going to put this? Was that going to go like in here? I think so. Underneath of this. That's what I got to remember. And this is here. Where am I going to put you? I maybe don't need that whole big piece. Let's just do this. Why don't we? And I guess it doesn't really matter. We're just going to put her down. Just to get another little bit of turquoise in there. Maybe another little piece of that up here. Maybe something a little more prominent. Get off me. Get off me. That's there. No, that's where I was going to put the big piece. Well, maybe I don't need this. All right, because that big piece is going to go there. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Ah. Okay, there's that. Should I get it up in? No, that's too close. Well, maybe I don't need it. That seems sad. Does that make, does that do anything extra for me? I don't like the how this ends right there. That kind of bugs me. So maybe I'll put it, maybe I don't need that big of a strip. Maybe I'll just do that. How about that? What time is it? 3.15. Now, what did I say I don't like? I don't like that. Let's just cover that bad boy up. 
I tell that's gonna work. Wait. Yeah, well, the hell with it. If it covers up that other thing, then that's fine. But we'll cover that end up there. And get another little third piece of turquoise in there. That's what I was shooting for. Mm. Oh, and I like this. I got to get my boogers off my fingers here first. This glue. I had some of those little tiny fairy light things. Um, I gave them to Chelsea. Um, all right, let's get let's get some of this going here. Oops, my pen skipped. This tissue just just tears like, but uh. Get a little more of this white off over here. I got a new recipe in the crock pot. Yesterday I made Dave's. Oh, I got a really good recipe I found online. Instead of just using the the lid of the oatmeal. Patty, are you going to fill this with Christmas cheer? It already did. Some of it spilled out, but I'm going to cap her off. <laughs> um, what the hell was I saying? Oh, Dave's favorite is oatmeal raisin cookies. And I was searching for best oatmeal cookie recipe. And um, I found one and I used that one and they really are good. They're not my favorites, but those are really good. Um, all right. Is this going to work? I really like these red marks sticking out here. Maybe I'll go a little bit more this way. Let a little turquoise stick out. Let it go around the Get a little bit of black and white stripes interrupted. And maybe we'll do that. Is that my best bet? <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's most of that covered up. Maybe let's go. Shoot. I'm trying to keep it away from this. So if this shows like it's a focal point on one side, and this is kind of a focal point on one side. But I don't know if it's going to work out that way. Maybe there. Although this is kind of plain on this side. Does it matter? I'm just going to do it right there. Because I got that gold stuff I'm going to put down one side too. Let's just get her done. Okay, don't move. That's where I'm going to put you. <laughs> Here goes nothing. This is going to be the tricky one. I know you definitely want. So Linda, go on. If you're on Instagram, I think so. Go look at mono printed Bonnie Barker or Bonnie Barker on Facebook. Same person. And look at the vase that she just did. Ugh, it's so good. 
have to go thrift shopping and find some uh actually you know what for the for this um our past missed retreat i actually had i'd gone to the second avenue with donna and got a couple different things for people to tile on if somebody didn't have a substrate and i have since done something with i think i gave them away i don't know who i gave them to or what happened but they're they're no longer with me <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let me do my rolling pin. Oh, this isn't sticky. Not sticky right there. That's not good. All right. So now, where are you, Goldilocks? I never know which way is up. I think this way. For some reason, it feels this way should go. Should be up. Maybe if I go down here, that will... I don't know, that's covering up a lot of this. I was trying to cover up this. A little bit. Do we care? Of course we care. I'm going to put it right there. This is that real fine tissue. So I got to be really careful with this bad boy. I usually put this down with that rice paper glue. Ooh, come here. Come here, you little rascal. I'm going to stand you up for this. <gasps> Damn it. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe I can just let this hang. And stick it. Look at you. Oh, pretty. And it's translucent, so you can see all that stuff behind it. Ish. Not completely, but... You see a little ghostly image. Ooh, I like that. I think I need another piece of my patina paper, but the real stuff. Hang on. All I gotta do is find it. Where the hell are you? Oh, there you are. Now I gotta find a piece that looks the part. Maybe this one. Let's see. That's there. If I was going to put you, where would I put you? I can maybe put it somewhere in here a little bit. Or even up here. Okay, so I want a little square bit. I don't need something long. I want it to go the other way, I think. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. Let's see what we can do with this a little bit. Thanks, Joan. Okay. I don't want it to cover that up. I might have to rip it a little smaller. Okay, and here's where we're going to have to end up with this bad boy, I think, but... I'm going to cut it off a little bit smaller. I don't know, I kind of like it thinking about it over here. Because it's kind of close to that one. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's Chelsea. I have to tell, text her and tell her I'm streaming. Excuse me a moment. All right. Where were we? I think you know what something's telling me to put it down here maybe I'll put just a little bit down there so it's not so connected and I don't want to lose this so much do I Or do I need it at all? That's the question. You know what? I do. And I'm going to put a little piece up here. More gluing, less talking. Let's put you... Right in there. Just for another little something something. And let's put you. I've got a big booger hanging off of here. All right. Oop. <laughs> Telling you, I could glue myself to the desk and pick the desk up as I walked away. I kid you not. That seems like the place for you. I don't know why. But it does. Okay. So now... Chelsea's got something going on with her dog she's worried about. All right. Let me get rid of this. 
it there and let's see where we are. I really like that gold bit down there. Do you plan to seal the whole project at the end? Yes, Bonnie said she put a couple layers of a matte spray on it and then Dorland's wax over hers. So, if I wanted to paint this, and you know what, I might follow this ragged line with paint so it doesn't look like a stark, you know, seam around there. You think, uh, I think April might have had something there with the clear gesso. Okay, where's my cat? Here we go. Ah. Okay, so I'm thinking clear gesso may be the way to go. Although that brown glass doesn't look bad sticking out of there. But it just looks, you know, it's not finished, right? And even down at the bottom, I might put a stripe of whatever I do at the top down the bottom. To kind of, because it's not completely evil, even down there, right? So let me dig around. Clear gesso department. Oh, black gesso, white gesso. I know I have clear. Hopefully it's not like a brick. Molding paste. Collage medium. Gloss gel. Delete Moses. Here we go. What's this? Fluid matte medium. There are just too many mediums. <laughs> Mod Podge. Matte medium. Heavy gel. Collage podge. Crackle medium, molding paste. I know at some point in my clear gesso. <laughs> All right. All right, let me get an acrylic brush. Oh, sweet Moses. Oh, Lordy. I want one that's soft enough that I won't leave streaks in the paint when I paint it. Is there such a thing in my acrylic brush collection? <laughs> too wide. I'll use this one. What the hay? Okay, here we go. Here go nothing. <laughs> hey, Tam. Oh, now can I get the damn thing open? There we go. There we go. Hey, Dar. Got some people sneak in on me. 
get up to one of these. It's probably three times more than I need, but you know how that goes. Hey, Kimberly. Okay, will this stick to glass? That's the question. And I'm going to go around these raggedy papers so I get that raggedy edge. Oh, right there's a little hole in the glass. I need to put a little something right there. Not looking at the chat at the moment. If I really like this when I'm done, I'm going to be going and buying every bottle I can find. <laughs> going on a collage rampage. Oh, this is such a cool idea. Thanks to Bonnie. All right, I'm going to let that dry for a sec. I'm not going to put it on the bottom right now because I need to set it on something. <laughs> Oh, grateful jars. That's a cool idea. Um, I wonder if I should spray this before I put paint on it. Then I got to wait for it to dry. Well, we'll just, I'll try to mask it off when I spray it. Um. Here's a little teeny tiny piece of this. Can I glue that up there? I probably can. Crumple up sheet of deli out of there. Get up off me. <laughs> That's what I tell Dave. When I'm in the kitchen cooking and I'm up at the stove or doing something, cutting something up, and he'll come right up behind me and like almost against me looking over my shoulder to see what I'm doing. I was like, get up off me. I need some elbow room when I'm cooking. Love you. Just get up off me. I'll just put you right there. All right. What I tell you, 18 times more than what I needed. I wonder if I can put it back in the jug. Yeah. Tapping away. I do want to put a second coat on there, I think. I don't know why, but. It seems like I should. All right, I'm going to heat gun this bad boy because times are ticking. Find my cord here. He doesn't sneak up on me. He's just interested in what I'm doing and coming to see if he can help. But I'll, like, I can need my elbow room. <laughs> Love you. Back the hell up. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Hey, listen. It's a music bottle. I'm probably calling in some kind of moose or something. All right. That's pretty dry. Oops, paint's falling, falling off my old brush. I don't really know if I need a second coat of this, but two is better than one. So I think I'm peeling some of this off. Great. Probably wasn't all the way dry because I'm impatient. I need to get my little spice rack spinner thing, like a cake decorator where you can spin it. I've done that before when I'm painting something that goes around an edge like that. Okay. Oh, shit. Oops, I said shit again. Come on. What the hell are you doing? Almost had it done, and then I schmutzed it. Okay. I guess I'll have to use this. Put it in some water. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Let's see. Years ago, we used wine bottles. The hole drilled in them to insert. Yep, 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 yep. Actually, somewhere in this heap of stuff, I have a glass bottle cutter. And I had, I have this rack upstairs that I bought years ago. You guys that have been here may have noticed it. It's hanging in the kitchen on that wall that kind of separates the hallway living area, little partial wall from the kitchen. And um, it's glass. It's like, a, it's like a rack. I have little funsy things hanging on it just for decoration. It's a piece of glass, a flat glass about yay big. And then they took wine bottles. And if this was the top of the wine bottle, they cut it about here. So you have that long neck, right? So they cut the bottle like here. And then they glued the tops of the bottles, four of them in different colors of greens up in a dark blue, depending on, you know, the different brands have different colors. And they're shades of green glass up to blue glass. And then when you hang it on the wall, it's like hooks, but the, the holders are the bottle tops. It's really cool. And I, um, God, I used to watch this guy on Food Network years ago all the time. Michael something. Michael, he had a store in Napa. I had a, I've got a few things from his shop. They had really cool stuff. Um, but I had the idea that I was going to make some of those. And, well, I never did. And then, of course, you can use the bottom of the wine bottle for candle holders or whatever. Or to do this, too, and make a candle holder. Wouldn't that be lovely? Okay, let's try it. This is going to be rough now instead of smooth with the paint, but that's okay. We done.
Oh, you know what might look cool in here? But I don't think I have any more. Those tribal sticks, I call them, that I used to make out of clay. And put, that would look cool, just drop down right in here. Oh, I wonder if I have any more. Let's see. While that dries, let me wheel over to the tribal stick department. Oh, actually, I do have some. But are they the right size? I would love to have a black one that I could put some gold wax on. Oh, I still got you out. Know, let's go out a little bit. Huh. That one's kind of bright turquoise with some gold in it. It's not flat enough. See, this is regular polymer clay. These air... The air clay ones, you can pretty much mold those. But I probably have to sit here for God knows how long and hold it in place. Because see how that's all wonky? You can bend it. And make it go flat. And then maybe glue it with E6000 or something. I don't know. That might be a possibility. What else do I have in here? That's too fat, I think. Not that there's a problem with being too fat, thank God. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Wrong color. Wrong color. Way wrong color. Oh, what's this? Oh, shit. Write me down one in all caps. Gala. <laughs> well, that just broke. That would actually have been a really nice size to put on there, too. Sweet Moses. Can I glue it? Can I glue it on the bottle? Patched up. that a shame I don't really know if I want to do it anyway he might be cool in there but only a little bit of them would stick because he's not round This guy looks kind of spooky. Let's see, he's all rocky. He doesn't. Okay, it's going to have to be long and skinny. Long and skinny. All right, well, I think these are my only options. This one's long and skinny, but I like this bold tribal mark instead of... See, this one is a different stamp. It's real fine. All right. We shall play with these. What time is it? 3.50. Okay. Could I make this work here? Would anyone know but us?
Huh. 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 Interesting. This one is really young Yankee. I'd have to sit and try to hold that once I painted it to try to make that work. I need to put more gold on here because that's kind of blah, but that's, no, that's not going to work. I think if I could glue this one, that would be kind of cool. Is that where I'd put it? Nope. And I don't want to really cover that. Although this kind of, because it's 3D, kind of makes it want to be the focal point. And main burn. But I do kind of like it there. But I think I'd like it with gold instead of the silver. Because of all the gold and bronze on there. All right, we'll put you on the maybe pile for now. <laughs> I feel something lifting up down here. I feel a little prickly piece of paper. Good Lord. Okay, let's go ahead and put the bronze paint on here. And hopefully that does it. Schmutz up the whole works. Okay, wash the glue out of my brush. Get some bronze paint out here. All right, kids. Messer. Hello, that's a new name. Welcome. Um, okay. Well, here goes nothing. That feels dry enough. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Not looking at the chat right at the moment. I started, I think it was yesterday, looking for a new Netflix show. And when I asked that question on Facebook, I got a lot of recommendations. And several were for Shameless, which I was not familiar with. And I started watching it like, whoa, it's, it's like a train wreck. You can't turn your head away. But it is crazy, crazy, crazy. Um. And I didn't realize it, but it's 10 seasons already recorded. Like, where the hell have I been for all those seasons? All right, I'm going to look at chat in a minute here. Let me get another, like a full coat on this. All right.
That's not too bad. Probably put a second coat on there. I kind of and I kind of like how raggedy it is around there. Crazy or so, oh my god! I imagine it does, but I just finished watching Virgin River. I loved it. Um, now I got to wait till like November for the next season of that one to come out. I'm already dying to get a new season of my Yellowstone. <laughs> my addiction of Yellowstone. I don't know. I think that looks okay. So before I do any of these sticks, I, I am going to want to spray. Oh, I wonder if spraying it with watercolor on there will mess that. Well, that's ink. That's not watercolor. But you know how these papers bled? Bonnie, are you still here? The Travelers. Oh, I'll have to remember that one, Tam. Oh, hell, I didn't put this little bit on. And I do like him very much. I think I might put him right there. Or maybe right there. I must put this down. But I don't know um, if the spray will hurt the, um, will make all the papers run. Wouldn't that be a pisser? <laughs> I know Bonnie sprayed her papers, but I don't know what she printed them with or what um you know spray with fixative first And this is kind of cool where this, you know how the toner, when you, when I water cut papers, how it, it makes the, uh, my onion skin inkjet prints didn't run. Well, you know what? That Krylon, is it Krylon? No, Krylon? Maybe. One of the sprays that I have is for watercolor. So you're right. That should not make that run. But anyway, what I was saying is, look how the around this piece, how the color ran and got a little turquoise in there. How fortuitous. So I got me another little papa in there. There, there. Could use a little something dark right in this region. What could it be? Do I need it? Do I want it? Do I even want to bother? Said it again. I'm not doing well today. Huh. Do I want to plunk something like that in here somewhere? I'm looking in the, thanks, Bonnie. Um, I'm 
trying to look to see in the camera <laughs> where I would put a little chunkaroo like this in here somewhere down here. Either start here, dark here, dark here. I think it must go up here somewhere. Maybe I'll put you right there. Remember that spot. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So don't forget, Z's supposed to be coming on, I believe, at 4.30 on Scraps to Beauty. Oh, I kind of like that on there. Maybe I can... Let's see. Can I find another one? Maybe you. Oops, that was a big blob. Oops, that's a bigger blob. All right, let's get some of this over there. Round that up a little bit. Okay, where am I going to put you, little cutie? Maybe right in there. Don't go anywhere. Get up off me. <laughs> Where did I have that? In here-ish. Got to have a third one. <laughs> oh, you're not streaming today, Z. Oh, I didn't see that yet. Thanks for letting us know. Maybe this little guy down here. He looks a little unusual. All right. Oops. Ooh, that brush got all crazy. Um, all right. Let's get a little glue on this rascal. <gasps> Yikes. Okay. Where was I going to put you? There's one there. One, two. You should go kind of in, kind of somewhere, sort of. One, two. Let's put you right here. I don't know why. That's where you're going to live. 
Oh, and you got a little wrinkly on me. Well, look at that. I'm able to pull the wrinkle out. Oh, that's too close to that one. Oh, dumbass. Oh, well. I could use one down here. <laughs> here we go. Um, let's do this. I think I'm going to cut that right through there. And all right. Where did I say you were needed? In here. One more. These weren't very good marks on this one here, let's say. I think I gotta put a little little something in there. Maybe just this little squeegee one. All right, now where did I say you were going to go? I think right in there. Is that right? Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's where you're going. Forever. That's where you're going to live. Assuming I don't hose it up getting it there. There we go. Okay, stop. <laughs> Another coat of bronze. That I have everywhere. Let's try to. Take care of that before we hose it up. Let's see, did I ever say anything or such something? Hey, Ray Ray. Okay. Here we go. Coat number two. All right. Real precision work here for me. <laughs> I 
I want a straight line right around the neck of that. Okay. All right. I can live with that. Let's see, where are we here? So there's where she sits right now. I love that piece you gave me, Xander. That's the last of those pieces. I'm going to have to make some. I'm waiting for that red uh, um, stuff to come in, that paste. This seems kind of a dead spot in here, like here or here to me. Is it? <laughs> or is it just me? Let's see, what could I do with this? Could I put you in there? Maybe like so. That's foil. But then that's really the only foil bit in there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Or maybe do I want a little... Too big this way. <laughs> it's got a little, I'm looking at this because it's got a little bit of bronze paint on it. We'll think about you. Put you over in the think tank. Now I got to do something down here. Or do I? Or. Hang on. Let's see. My shoulder about had it. I had a cortisone shot in there a month or two ago. And I've had a lot of cortisone in my life. And I'll tell you what, that whatever they gave me made me feel like crap for two days. Um, and you know what? I shouldn't have cut off that flat edge, should I have. I should not have for my idea. Let's go this way. And let's go. So what I'm thinking is, can I put a ring of this around the bottom to square those up? Huh, almost exactly the right length. But is that going to work? Timothy. 
so I need to. Um, yeah, I don't know what the hell it was. I've had spinal injections, a quarter cortisone, my knees countless times. Uh, when this thumb locked up, I had it in my finger. Um, and it's never made me sick like that. I mean, of course, it makes your sugar spike and all that kind of stuff. But whew, I did not feel well. And it was a good two days. I thought, what the hell did he give me? All right. Now, would that work? Am I just a dreamer <laughs> or will this work? See, the bottom of this curves in just the slightest bit. Or I wonder if I should just hit the edges. That's what I'm going to do. Hit the edges with the clear gesso. And then do the same thing on the bottom. It'll just be a raggedy little piece. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. Hang on a second. Sorry, skip ahead if you're watching the recording. I got to take care of something real quick. All right. That should hold that for a minute. Okay. We're back to the clear gesso. Just need a little fresh dollop there. Hey, Amalia. Kim Vasey. Yeah, that's a new name. Hi there. Welcome. Makes your head all fuzzy. I never noticed anything with my, with them getting them in my spine. Of course, my head's kind of fuzzy all the time anyway, so. Thanks, Kayla, for sticking around. I appreciate it. Have a good day. All right, I'm just going to put a little bit on the very little edge of this glass that's sticking out on that curve. And it's not straight, and I'm not going to try to paint it straight. I'm going to let it be what it is. And April, I think this was a good idea with the clear gesso. Gave it a little tooth.
All right. Good enough for now. I'm going to let that sit like that. And put a little heat gun on her. I do see a couple little tiny bits of corners of paper sticking up here and there. Time is at 4.22. Well, not that, now that I know Z is not streaming. I'm not in that much of a hurry to shut it down right on time. So let me get a little teeny tiny a bit. This, Amalia, um, I don't know if you follow Bonnie Barker on Facebook or Instagram. She did a bottle recently it was it made my mouth water <laughs> and uh, that's where I got the inspiration for doing this um, I'm going to take my glasses off for this one I got to see close can't see that close with my glasses I know that sounds weird but it's that's the way it is Let's see if I can bring it in a little bit more Not looking at the chat. Trying to not hose this up right at the very end. probably rolling this on the paper and peeling off the paint I'm already putting on here but I, I think it's curved enough that I'm not We're about to find out when I get around the other side I don't see any marks on the under paper though All right, almost. All right. There's my wonky bronze bottom. Let that sit there for a couple minutes. And I'm going to hit that with my Heat gun. I'm going to let it sit for a minute and I'm going to hit it with my heat. Hey, Janice. Hey, Mary Ellen. All right, heat the gun a little bit. Paint it down a bit. Bye, 
Hi, Tam. Same to you. Have a great holiday with your fam. Glad you could drop in. Oops. There's... Um, turn my alarm off. Take my glasses off. <laughs> Yeah, this painting this was definitely the way to go. Foil would have looked cool, but would have, well, I couldn't have done it down here. That would be just about impossible to get it looking halfway even. And around that smooth neck, I don't think I'm the one to take that on. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just speaking the truth. I have to blame Bonnie for getting me hooked on doing this. From now, I'll be looking at every every kind of vessel. Like, can I collage that? I had one thing I was going to try, and then I thought that would be crazy. Um, I have these glass balls um i've gotten them over home goods from over the years i got a clear one i got an amber one i've got a blue one and the blue one is i have in our bedroom which is kind of turquoise and brown and it's the wrong blue it's more like a royal blue instead of turquoise but it's always been kind of sitting there you can't really see it it's on a chest of drawers behind a bathroom door um but i was looking around for stuff today and i thought Oh, wouldn't that be cool to have like a globe covered there? It's about this big and it's, it's a ball with a flat bottom and now uh, it's heavy as anything. But then I thought, how the hell am I going to do it? All those curves, this curve is bad enough. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't uh, attempt that. But you have to check out, let me show you Bonnie's, Bonnie's bottle again. For those who came in late. So check her out. She's at Mono Printed on Instagram and Bonnie Barker on Facebook. Where are you at? Mono Mono Printed Jar. Look at that. Oh, try this glare. It's a killer. But see that big surface, you could put those, the papers with those washer, rusted washers on them that she did, and all the way up to the, that curved neck. How did you do that? And over the shoulders, that's gorgeous. I love it. All right, now I'm going to take my little glue stick and hit these little, oh gosh, hit these little corners that are being stubborn. Where are you? Here you are. I think the rest of these are pretty good, actually. All right. I think I saw one teeny weeny itty bitty edge, but the glue stick is too big. Now, where the heck is it? Oh, it was up here. Right there. I'm going to use this white glue.
I'm going to put that a little another daub of paint. Well, shoot. Over where that glue squidged out from underneath of the paper onto the paint. I don't want that sheen to look like a, a spot. And that was it. <laughs> Right there. Oh, and of course that dried up. That's okay. I just need a little half of a drop. That's all I need. That was right in there. Kind of fade that in. All right. I believe I can live with that. And now I got to spray it. Now, here's another question. Will the spray, if it gets on the paint, cause any problems or texture issues? Oh, you have liquor bottles? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I should ask Gail. I'm sure she's got an excess of empties. <laughs> Just kidding. Um. I'm going to spray it with, I think, Krylon. Hang on. Let me go. I just don't know if it gets on this painted bits at the top, just on the glass, how that would work. Um, so that gold, that bronze paint is um, golden fluid acrylic bronze metallic. Uh, now, to find my... Kmar varnish. That's what I'm talking about. Not well. It is Krylon is the brand. Okay, I can look at that. And this is what you can use on watercolor. So I think that will settle all my concerns about this um, running. I just didn't know it would take the sheen off of it, Dar. You know, if this is kind of a mat, if that would affect that. Acid-free, free from impurities, non-yellowing for acrylic, oil, and watercolor. Keeps a fresh from the palette look. 50 to 85 degrees. Crap, I can't take it outside and spray it today. I'm going to go out in the garage and spray this real quick. Bonnie said she put two or three coats of this on it and then came back with Dorland's wax. All right, I'm going to go out in the garage. I'll be back. Chat amongst yourselves. If you're on YouTube, you might want to skip forward a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. I sound like an old lady, but then I remember that I am. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how long this has to dry. But so far, she looks okay. All right, let's see.
Mike Myers voice? <laughs> I would have to say yes, Margaret, <laughs> from this side. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let this sit a minute or two. I wonder, can you dry between this? Can you heat gun it? Do I want to do that? Painting. Um, 15 minutes. Handle after two hours. Oh, dry time. Recoat anytime. Oh, so I guess I can go back and put another coat on it right away. Huh. Okay. That kind of darkened, like brightened it up. All right, it feels dry. I'm going to go put another. Did the shine go? Looks gold from here. Yeah, that looks all right. I tried to avoid that very top. Doesn't look bad. And I could always go over and put another coat of paint on it if I wanted to. I'm going to go put another coat of this on here. And then we'll call it. I'll be back. Now somewhere, <laughs> Lord knows where that is, I do have some Dorland's wax, but I bought it eons ago, and uh, I don't know if that stuff goes bad. I mean, I know it's supposed to be museum quality, but... Um, so it lasts forever once you use it but if it still lasts forever before you use it <laughs> I'm going to dig around in a cupboard here where it might be here's something else I thought about doing I gotta pull back for this one this is a big one hang on I got one this at a last Christmas our girls at work do a like a secret Santa thing, go out to dinner at night one night. Oh my God, it's a riot. Um, and I ended up with this. It's a candle holder. And I thought, how cool would it be if I did from below this line here? But it's all curves. Again, with the curves. So I'm not sure about that. Unless I use really tiny strips um, where I needed to. So hang on. Where would the Dorland Wax Department be? Sweet Moses. That's a good question. Um, ah, in the very first place I look. Hello. Translucent compound of waxes and resin to be mixed with oil paint, powdered pigments, powdered metals colored sands, dyes, and other compatible fine art materials. Excellent for encaustic painting, hydrocoal wax painting, and mixed media as a protective coating for paintings, 
wood, plastic, metal objects, or photos. Unexcelled as a protective and permanent sealing medium. Resists cracking and dries more quickly than oil paints used by themselves. The wax medium, thin wax medium to a flowing consistency with odorless mineral spirits or heat. So, Bonnie, <laughs> how did you how did you put this on? Oh, it's good. He's nice, I think. Apparently, I used it for something at one point. Did you just put it on like with a soft brush and then buff it? I'm not sure if Bonnie's still here. Cut the paper into pointy diamonds on both ends. I forget what that cut is called, but it's used to cover a glass like in the world. Oh. Huh. Interesting. So I'm not sure Bonnie is still with us. I'll think, drop her a note. If not, has anybody noticed? It just popped into my head when I saw one of my watercolors sitting over here. How long shipping is taking now? And I know it's a known fact. It's not just happening to me. But, um, yeah, it's way behind. I ordered a couple things from Cheap Joe's early in December. I got a tracking number. I tracked it. It said on the 11th, which was um, on the 11th, it said it was at a facility in Hyattsville, Maryland, which is not all that far from me. I'm also in Maryland. And I looked at it the next day. It's still sitting there, still sitting there. As of the 15th, still sitting there. Today's what? I think I said the 19th earlier, but I think it's the 20th. Um, it's still sitting, and I could have walked over and picked it up. Like, why is it still there? Although, Cheap Joe's was very good. I emailed them and said, um, have you heard of any issues with the, this package? And they said, if you don't get it, um, anytime soon, let me know and we will send you a duplicate, which I told them if they did that, I would return the duplicate order. Um, so, uh, but yeah, it's really, oh, Chewy did, our Chewy came pretty quick. Um, but, um, yeah, things are slowing down. I mean, so many places are locked down where you can't go in stores or don't want to go in stores. And, uh, you know, between Amazon and all the online shopping, even all the Black Friday sales online instead of people going out for Black Friday and all that, it's going to be a, quite the impact for the holidays, I'm sure. But I think we got all of that stuff. I'm going to start wrapping everything tomorrow. Bailey's dog food sat in Dallas for three days. You know, when we first went into this lockdown back in March, um, we went and stocked up on some things and I ordered extra bags of dog food um, because you can't get what we feed them everywhere. Like PetSmart doesn't carry it. And uh, so I... Um, put it on auto delivery and order two bags at a time. So we usually have at least three bags of their dog food backed up should something happen. All right. So I'm not sure how long this has to sit before I would attempt the wax or if I just want to sign off for the day. It feels well, it said it's dry in what two hours, so I'm gonna let it dry. So, anyway, let's just I'll give you one more 
one more glimpse at what's going on here. I do like those gold characters going down there. All right, so there we are. So I don't know if I'm going to put this tribal stick on there or not at some point. Of course, I broke the damn thing. Maybe I'll try gluing it and see how that holds. We'll see. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, but anyway, this was fun. And I thank Bonnie for the inspiration. Um, so you guys ought to start collaging anything that doesn't move in your house. <laughs> so I'm going to get ready to... Oh! Let me see that. See, that's still not the one I was looking for. Thanks, babe. That's still not the one I was looking for. Are you still over? Uh, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm getting ready to wrap up, though. Look what I made. That little brown bottle that was sitting in the window of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Collaged it. Mm. <laughs> We're going to do it in there. I don't know. Sit it somewhere. Maybe more prominent. <laughs> so a box just came in. Of course, it's not the box that was waiting on. It seems like an awfully big box. For... Oh, my God. All this packing stuff. In this box, you can't really see it without me knocking the vase over. It's a large box for this box. And I don't even know. 36 unique mineral watercolor dots from nature's palette to yours. Oh, I think these are the, um, I didn't expect them to come in a box. I think these are all the Primatex maybe. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Rock and red. Red earth. Oh, you can't see them. Hang on. What is that? Thanks, Margaret. Red earth. Red sands. Baked earth. Royal purples. Metamorphic plaques. Oh, she. Hey, hello. <laughs> Oceanic blue beauties. Yeah, these are all the um, green gems. Yeah. Extra fine mineral watercolors, which they used to call Primatech. I don't know if they're changing the name again or what, but that's kind of cool to have those before you invest in a tube, although I do have quite a few, but they are ones that I would buy again. Patty, collage your box for a holiday present. I may just do that, but not now. <laughs> All right, kids. Thank you so much for hanging in with me. I appreciate it. Have fun. And everybody, if you celebrate Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Happy anything else. Have a good holiday. Please, Beth. Hi. Um, hi and goodbye. Just signing off. So thanks so much, guys. I will see you again soon. I'm off until the 4th, supposed to be, um, of January. So I'm hoping to get a couple more streams in while, I'm, while I have some downtime. So anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys. <laughs>